Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are so many uh, Protestant groups and denominations. They say they they agree that we should pray for each other. They believe in the intercessory ministry. The Protestant groups and denominations they all support the intercessory ministry. They also have intercessions and ministry, praying for each other. People they ask the prayers of pastors, and pastors ask the prayers of other pastors. and these are all very common among them too and just like the catholics do have but one thing that they have they are struggling they say we ask the intercession of others who are alive but how can somebody who died and gone help us why should we pray to somebody who died and gone mother mary is dead and gone to heaven angel i mean the all the holy people the saints saint padre pio dominic savio don bosco francis assisi francis de sales all these people lived their holy life but they are dead now why should you ask the intercession of the dead people why do you ask their prayers you can ask the prayers of those who are alive this is the question that they ask they are not able to believe or accept that we could, we can ask the intercession of those who are dead and gone those holy people the saints who lived the what is the answer for this the answer is this according to bible for god all the dead people they are not dead they are alive for him all of them are alive for us our parents our grandparents our saints who lived among us mother teresa and all the saints they are all dead and gone for us they are dead but for god they all are alive where is it written let's read gospel of luke chapter 20 verse 37 gospel of luke chapter 20 verse 37 we read like this when there was a question about the resurrection of the dead god said and the fact that the dead are raised dead are raised moses himself showed in the story about the bush this is a statement from jesus jesus says the dead are raised immediately those who are dead died they are only transformed within a fraction of seconds they are fra- transformed they are alive the dead are raised moses himself showed in the story about the bush where he speaks of the lord as the god of abraham god of isaac god of jacob god himself is introducing himself as say as the lord of god of israel god of abraham god of isaac god of jacob if abraham is dead if isaac is dead and if jacob is dead and not alive then you may have to say this god is god of dead people but our god god of israel is not the god of dead people god of living people that is why jesus said now he is god not of the dead but of the living for to him all of them are alive for god all those who are dead abraham isaac jacob moses all the saints in the church all of them are alive if they are alive in front of god then why can't we ask the help of the uh, their help and their prayers just like we ask the help of all those who are alive here on earth who can help us more those who are here on earth or those who are in heaven who is more accessible to god those who are here on earth or those who are in heaven if you know if the answer is heaven then why are you not asking the people in heaven to pray for us instead of asking those who are here on earth they themselves are in, in problem those who are here on earth they have their own problems to offer but those who are in heaven they are free they have lot of free free time they are ready to pray for you praise the lord